one of Elba Park's most iconic streets, we've got our newest listing, 4108 Crestview Road Southwest. And guys, this one is gonna blow your mind. Okay, before we head inside 4108, we gotta stop just for a second outside and take note of that street appeal. Because take a look, it is amazing. I love the clean lines of this look, the two-tone paneling, the contrast between the dark and the light, the natural stone with the natural accents of cedar, it all plays so perfectly together. The landscaping, the concrete work out here, all of it, whew, top notch. But believe me, we're just getting started because the real tour begins beyond this door. All right, so stepping inside 4108, man, does it ever make an impression. As soon as you walk in, you see this gorgeous staircase here. And as you enter into sort of the main area of the home, you're greeted by the kitchen itself. I love this space here. Let's take you into it now. Okay, this island here, a good 14 feet long. This is five feet wide. There's so much room for you to have family and friends gathering around. There's so much space between the island and the cabinetry. That means that you can have two or three people working in this space because there's so much room. And you'll start to notice the finer details in this kitchen. Of course, it's got a wolf cooktop here. You've got Miele appliances. Yes, they're all high end, but it's even some of the finer, smaller details that I really am attracted to. Things like these little glass cabinets up top or the hardware on the drawers. This is a two-tone matte black with bronze. You'll see that same style mimicked through the passage doors in the home as well. So off the main hallway and off the kitchen, you get led into this area here, which could easily function as a formal dining room space or maybe an after dinner space for a drink. There is a bar fridge in here, as well as a dry bar with countertops and shelves in here. And you've got great views out onto the street. So whatever you choose to use this space as, I think it's gonna be great for you and your guests. So also off the entrance is this awesome work from home space. Now this is perfect for an office. If you're that executive that wants big views, bright airy spaces to work, there's no fatigue or Zoom fatigue working here. Plus you can shut off the rest of the world with these large four panel glass French doors. Now once again, it's the details in this home as subtle as they are that make such a statement. Details like this, as you enter into this large and spacious living room space with huge views out onto the yard, you'll notice this little semi-privacy wall. These are maple panels, they're slats that come in here. They actually provide a nice, useful utility by providing a backer for that couch cabinetry, but yet they still let the light pass through. Now, of course, when you come into the living room itself, you'll find this gorgeous, fireplace and custom cabinetry combination. Now on this fireplace, you'll notice that there are virtually no grout lines. It is all one flat panel. That is because this product that they've used here allows for large format pieces. This has that Carrera marble look. Imagine sitting in a space like this on a Friday evening, just relaxing after a long week. So finishing the tour of the main floor, we're gonna stop here at this more practical part of the home, which is of course your functioning mudroom, your two car garage, and your powder room at the end. You'll notice there's some great cabinetry in here, room for hooks, jackets, drawers for storage, scarves, mittens, and all those things. But I gotta say, I think one of my favorite features, as gorgeous as this home is, is the vantage point from right here. You can look out onto your beautiful yard that fully opens up with these Tesoro doors, or you can look back over the home itself and from here, my gosh, it's special. Okay, let's head upstairs. I mean, how cool are those stairs? You've got the open tread risers, the see-through style with that supported metal beam in the middle. I love it. And it leads you up here to the second floor where there are four bedrooms and a large laundry room space. Now this is a hallway, yes, but check out how subtle and simple this design is. The three chandeliers that hang over that front entrance 
make such an impact when you come up here. Both from below, yeah, but up on the second floor, it's just a vibe like nothing I've ever seen before. Once again, it feels spacious up here because of that glass railing. Now, let's take you inside the master bedroom suite. Okay, so stepping into the primary suite, you get this beautiful, minimal design. Now, I love it in here because of details like this. It's simple, it's subtle, but it makes it feel so unique and special. This beautiful trim design on the walls and the restoration hardware pendants for your bedside lights. I mean, it's very crisp and very clean. Now, I love all the light that pours into this space. There's so many windows, as you'll see throughout the entirety of the master bedroom suite. But first off in the master bedroom, imagine waking up here. On a Sunday morning, looking outside and seeing the Elbow River Valley, the dog park, the pathway system, it is awesome. Now, this master bedroom, it's got a lot more than just great views and a great layout. It's also got this awesome place to go out and have a morning coffee or a glass of wine at the end of the day. It's a private deck just for the primary suite. Okay, now before we head into the ensuite, let's take you right here into this large walk-in closet. I love it in here. There's so much practical storage, adjustable shelves, but my favorite piece is this display cabinet that greets you when you walk into the room. Great place to show off those designer handbags. Okay, I love the ensuite here. Each of these vanities are large, plenty of room for a his and hers. You don't have to worry about counter space here or storage because each of them have a lot of banks of drawers. And the light fixtures, they match in perfectly with those bedside pendants. But as you come back into this spacious ensuite, you'll notice that there's a whole spa area back here. Like picture this, you've got this nice weekend vibe happening. The kids are out of the house and you can enjoy just a tub and a book looking out over your completely mature and private backyard. It's gorgeous back there. And that's why you don't have to worry about so many windows in an ensuite like this. So much natural light coming in because the lot is so mature that you're gonna get that natural privacy from the green belt. Off of this area here, you walk into your walk-in, two-person steam shower. It's awesome in there. Okay, so the basement in this home is gonna blow your mind but before we head down there i just got to mention there are four bedrooms up here and each of them have en suites so that means if you've got kids there's going to be no fighting over which room to take because each of them have great views out onto the lawn or onto the street oh yeah and right here the laundry conveniently located beside all those bedrooms all right let's head downstairs all right guys, welcome to the lower level of this home and you're gonna be so glad you stuck around because there is so many cool features to show you. But when we first walk down the stairs, we gotta show you what we see. I think this is probably the sexiest wine cellar I've ever seen. It's so clean in here with the backlit LEDs, the stone on the wall, the walnut paneling, none of it feels heavy though. Once again, the designer has found a way to capture all of this quality in a very minimal and subtle way. But when you step out of the wine cellar area and you walk into the main living areas of this basement, you'll notice the only little bit of carpet you'll find in the home is right here. And that's because when you're getting together with family, when you're sitting on a cold winter's day watching a movie, this is where you want to be hanging out, by the gas fireplace, watching a movie on the TV. And the great thing about that carpet, it even deadens the sound. Now I like this area too, come on, billiards? I remember when I was 18 or 19, like I grew up with a pool table in my house. Man, that's how I met all my friends. It was so much fun to go out, play pool, take a few bucks off people. Just kidding, I would never do such a thing. And then of course you got this. When you're entertaining, you've got friends over, you got room for the bar fridge here, all of your top shelf liquors, whatever you want to put out here. It's a great way for you and your family to enjoy this space for you to entertain and have friends over. Okay, there'd be no excuse for putting on the COVID-19 if you had a room like this in your basement. But I said basement, it sure doesn't feel like one down here. This is a 10 mil glass wall, like 16 feet long. So it feels nice and open to the rest of the basement. Got a big bright east facing window there. So those morning workouts will always be nice and lit. And from this location, you can see the TV and keep your eyes on the prize. The wine cellar over there, 
So stepping into this rear yard here, you get that sense that this is not like the normal inner city living you might have been imagining. Because normally, when you move into the city, you have to give up privacy and space. But that's not the case here in Elbow Park. It's definitely not the case on Crestview Road where we have such a massive lot. Think about this. You are on one of the most desirable streets in our city and you've got this much privacy back here for you to enjoy. Now look at this deck, for example. It is covered about half of that space and it fully opens up onto the kitchen with the large Tesoro doors. That becomes like a 14 foot wide entrance out onto your covered living spaces. The phantom screens are going in. That's going to fully enclose this space. The Calcana heaters can be installed. This will now become a third or fourth season room, meaning that you have a real extended living space. And then check out the yard itself. So much space for you to entertain, for the kids to play, for your pets to run around and enjoy. There's even plans, if you want more parking, to put in a double car garage here with a suite above. We've already got them drawn up. We're happy to share them with you if you'd like. But from this vantage point, you can look back and still see, were you to build that? You still got all this space. Okay, so if we're gonna talk about this home, we gotta talk about the location. This one is down in Elbow Park, and so many people come here because of its proximity to downtown and just how great the whole vibe is here. You've got large lots, mature streets, and then something like this, the Elbow River itself. If you like outdoor living, running, cycling, you even like paddle boarding, this is the place you wanna live. Hey, so if you enjoyed the tour and you'd like to know all about those property details, check the link below the video. And if you want to book a showing, just give me, Brad McCallum with Remax First, a call, text, or an email. I'd be happy to set it up. And hey, if you never want to miss another video, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button right there. And if you want to keep watching, we got more great tours right here.